hairline jokes. You know, I, I never understood hairline jokes. Like, I always thought hairline jokes were some sort of, you know, scheme, you know, just to make it seem like you had a little bit of humor in you. You know, I used to think hairline jokes were freaking top tier. I used to think hairline jokes were, you know, the epitome of whether or not you're a cool ass nigga. Like, if you don't say hairline jokes, you're not a cool ass nigga. If you say cool hairline jokes all the time, everyone knows you as, you know, one of the greats, you know? You're, 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 you're officially a roaster. Oh, you know how to roast people. But now looking back at it, hairline jokes were retarded. Like, honestly, like imagine beefing with someone because someone stole your girl or something. And then you just start saying, what, what? Oh yeah? Well, that's why your hairline goes to the back of your head. <laughs> like nigga. Shut the f I never understood that. Like, why were hairline jokes a thing? Like, I think this day and age, I would rather get knocked the hell out than told a hairline joke. If niggas are gonna beef, bruh, just square up, bruh. <laughs> square up, bro, because I, I feel like everyone would rather get knocked out than get told a hairline joke. I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I speak for everybody when I say this. Rather get used as a punching bag than get told a hairline joke, bruh. Rather eat Plankton's chum before getting told a hairline joke, bruh. Like, you could just be walking. Oh, your hairline is ass. Look at this man's hairline. Looking back at it, hairline jokes were probably one of the most stupid, most cringe thing to ever say as a freaking roast. I used to get bombarded with hairline jokes. Like, if you look at me now, now, right if you look at me right now i mean you could you know most people would say that i have like a decent you know sort of hair like did you know that if you stop talking we don't have to hear you're annoying at but you know at the time nigga i was bald like nigga i was a whole ass bald ass chimpanzee my nigga i had no hair whatsoever on my scalp my head was as shiny as a freaking malteser i would go to school every day in middle school into the cafeteria because that's where you go to get your breakfast before you go to class and stuff and then as i walk in i would just see a group of niggas a group of niggas say huh where's your hairline and then they all start laughing <laughs> like acting like that shit was funny and i actually got offended at that for for some weird reason like, i got offended acting like damn god damn they, they got me <laughs> and the worst part is i couldn't say anything back because you know it was a group of people and at the time i was very shy you know saying like what if i say the wrong thing at the wrong time what if i say this and it doesn't end up making any sense what if what if what if what if and i just stayed quiet because i was just like yeah they decided my fate <laughs> but looking back i'm just like nigga i'm glad i didn't say anything like I'm glad I didn't make fun of those freaking no life losers. Although I should have because one of them was probably one of the most ashiest niggas I've ever seen in my life talking about my hairline. Like nigga, you were legit whiter than chalk. Like in the locker room, I'd see this nigga change. And as he would take off his socks and you look at his bare foot, his foot would be all white. You know how people say that you have athlete's foot or some sort of foot disease, you know, when you, there's something wrong with your foot? Well, I thought this nigga had African's foot. You could start a fire with the freaking heels of his feet. And he was, he had the audacity to talk about my hairline. But okay, okay, my hairline's bad, okay. Let's just all ignore the fact that you could play tic-tac-toe on your forehead, okay? Let's just say my hairline's whack. At least I was moisturized, nigga. But yo, in general, hairline jokes are pretty stupid. Real trap shit.